Hi, Ken here. Just want to say how proud we are of being the curators of the world's only Art Deco Light Museum. And this gives us great experience in the history, style, and importance of Art Deco lights. So when we make a recreation, it's a good one. We want to take you to the mold shop now and show you some of the small processes involved in designing a new light. As you can see, it's a combination of glass and plaster and clay and lots of engineering to figure out how it all goes together in an attractive and succinct manner. We're very exact and we're very concerned about the final use of the product and its looks. So if you can see some of the uh, processes here and know what we went through for nearly two years, you understand why we're proud of 650 12 light. This is uh, 650 12 light. And it comes in three finishes. It comes as you see it, uh, the darkened with high low antique finish. It also comes in a self colored zinc, which is a pewter look, and also a polished brass. As you can see, it's a large shell. And it's a heavy chandelier, weighs over 100 pounds. And we're talking solid brass casting, so you really get quality here. It's our design, it's our copyright, and we're the only ones that make it. And um, what we've done is we've taken our existing sconce and small chandelier series, and we've enlarged it to a, a, a very large offering that wasn't normally offered in the 30s um, for our larger homes and uh, commercial businesses. Uh, which, uh, what you can note is that it's deco to the max. We, we have the sawtooth design and yet we have some of the French scroll work matching the shades which have the roses and, and the uh, some diamond patterning too. Uh, it has 12 lights. Each light can take 100 watts and even a wee bit more. So you're going to get a substantial offering uh, for light. If you want to look down here, we have some uh, cutouts and that's where we put the mica. Uh, we can put either an amber mica or a white mica in there as we can put an, either an amber shade or a frosted shade. Uh, sometimes people mix them and that's a very nice effect too. 12 lights. This is what we call a slip shade light where the light shades do slip out. And you can see that we're only lighting this with a very small 11 watt bulb because we find that if you power them up for cameras it blanks out the whole thing. So you see porcelain socket. This acts as a porcelain uh, socket holder, but also acts as a shade stop. So when you put the shade back in, it, it does just sort of block into place. If you follow it up, you'll see that it's on three supportive hex tubes going to a, just a beautiful uh, deco canopy. Now that second, that center finial is more than just decorative, it is actually how it's mounted to the ceiling. And we'll show you some of the interesting features on the inside too. Here we have the insides. And as you can see, there are some adjustments here that are kind of critical. If you notice this bolt here, and here, and here, this is a three-way adjust mechanism for leveling the bowl in, in case in shipment or something they get a little bit off-centered. Off you can back off this set nut and then adjust it for level with those three significant nuts. This is the part that holds this heavy-duty plate to the uh, bowl and you can see that these straps here that come up and for each one of those lights, 
are really quite substantial. There's no tinniness with this one here. This is all heavy bolt and nuts and adjustments and heavy plates. You see, we even gone to the extent of putting little cast receivers on, on these hex tubes, both at the bottom and following it up to the top here against the canopy. And here you can see your fastening nut again. And all these tubes can be adjusted for heights. You tell us what you need, we'll try our darndest to match it. So here you go again. This is your socket and you can see how it does stop the shade. Good solid porcelain um, sockets here. Very nice, 12 light.